How's everyone doing today? Come on, how's everyone doing today? All right. Where am I going? No, I'm checking. <clears throat> what if there was a competition out there where you helped your opponent? Crazy, right? But what if the lessons and values you learned along the way made you a better person in your community and helped out society overall? Franklin D. Roosevelt once said, competition can only take us so far, but no further. But it is cooperation, which we must strive for today, that begins where competition leaves off. Now, think of all the different competitions out there. Nowadays, there's pretty much a competition for absolutely anything you can think of. Extreme ironing, it's real. Freestyle alligator wrestling, Google it after, of course. But what if there was a competition where winning and losing wasn't the main focus? I mentor a high school robotics team that are all in the bright yellow shirts here today. <laughs> Pretty much every day we get asked by somebody, so do you guys build those robots that battle each other, like the battle bots or something like that? And every single time and every single day we tell them, no, we're different. We're involved with FIRST Robotics. We do build some pretty sweet robots like the one you saw out there today, and we even build a tent barrel t-shirt shooter that can do some pretty destructive things. <laughs> but FIRST Robotics is different because from preschool all the way to college, they teach you the values of working together. They teach you to be gracious professionals. Being a gracious professional means that d during the heat of competition, you do the right thing. You work with your opponents. You make your grandmother proud. Now, let me take you back all the way to 2004. Most of you in this room were in diapers, but there I was, a senior on my high school robotics team. I know, don't do the math, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> we make it through all the way through the qualification rounds, and we end up being an alliance captain. With our well-built robot and a little bit of luck, it was actually a lot of luck, but we make it to the playout, we make it to the finals, and now it's us. Only two teams left. Us and maybe the best team all weekend and one of the top teams in the country. Final one begins, and within the first minute, their robot breaks. Push, done, parts this way, gears that way, drive, just, it's a mess. And we go on and win that first match. Now we're one match away from our very first regional win. They take their time out and they struggle to, to and they're all frazzled and trying to get things done and to try to fix their robot to get it out for the second match. And they're out of time. We're about to go two on one. And again, we're just one match away from our very first regional win. But that's when something clicks in our head. Why don't we help them out? Why don't we give them our time out? And not only that, why don't we go over there and help them fix their drivetrain? The crowd was stunned. The judges completely floored. The other alliance was looking at us like, are these guys, what, what, are these guys for real? Are, are you serious right now? But that's what we did. We get their robot back up and running and we go to match two. Their game plan goes flawless, as expected, and they annihilate us. <laughs> match three, same thing. An absolutely flawless performance on their behalf, and they destroy us again, completely wrecked. And we lose the regional. So think about this for a minute. We had a chance to win our very first regional. We had a chance to make it to the world championships in Atlanta, but we threw it all away. Or did we? Do you know what it takes for a group of high schoolers to build a robot? Anybody? It's six, they know. It actually is just a 48 pack of Mountain Dew and about $50 with a little Caesar's hot and ready's. <laughs> but for them to make that decision, for all of us to make that decision in that moment, that's a tough decision for anybody, let alone a bunch of high school kids. You know, cooperation produces innovation. It's learning from others around you, it's teaching others around you, it's growing from your surroundings. The judges saw what we did that day and rewarded us. Not because we had the best robot, 
but because we did the right thing. So what if everybody here today, what if everybody on this campus, everybody in Arizona, everybody in the world, instead of going for the win, we all work together despite our differences? What would the world be like then? Now let me ask you guys a question. What is peanut butter without jelly? Peanut butter and jelly on their own are good, but when you combine them, they're delicious. But just because you have PB&J does not necessarily mean you have a good sandwich. You have to have an equal spread of both peanut butter and jelly to make a great sandwich. A great example of this is the International Space Station. Stretch, I know, but go with me. Comprised of independent interlocking modules, each country is responsible for in each part, and not to work here on Earth, but up in space. So now, imagine if Russia, for instance, didn't finish their module on time. All the other countries involved are gonna push Russia to finish. Like a sports coach willing to lend you their lucky glove or give you words of advice, but never actually doing the work for you. All the countries involved are gonna push to make sure everybody pulls their own weight. Now let me ask you guys a question. Close your eyes for a minute. I want you to think of, a t think of something that you want to accomplish this year. Be selfish if you want. Don't think of any sort of physical limitations. Maybe you want to learn how to play an instrument. Maybe you want to get the girl's number sitting two rows in front of you. Can you do this alone? All right, open your eyes. I'm willing to bet that there's at least 10 other people in this room that have that same goal as you. So how can we all achieve it together? Close your eyes one more time. Now I want you to go through your day, just one day in your life where you're a VIP. You don't have to worry about opening doors. You don't have to wait in line at Chipotle. You don't have to do anything. Even the toilets are flush for you. I know it sounds crazy, but what if that was your day? It sounds pretty sweet, right? All right, open your eyes. What if all of us in this room and everybody here did one thing to make someone's day a little bit easier? Nothing major. Maybe it's opening the door for somebody. Maybe it's letting them cut in line at Chipotle. Whatever it may be. What if all of us here did that? What if everybody in the world did that? Be a different, completely different world, right, guys? Myself and my first robotics students, by the time they graduate, they're prepared with the tools and lessons to know that there's more important things than winning. They're ready to go out into the real world and be gracious professionals. So if a bunch of high school students can do that, why can't the 60-year-old politicians in Washington or the countries that constantly bicker about things follow their lead? What if we all did? I'm going to leave you with one final quote today. Ralph Sherrill said, it is through cooperation rather than conflict that our greatest successes will be derived. Thank you.